Hey everyone, it's good to see everybody else out there every day working very hard. We're actually coming to the end of the month. So I know a lot of us are getting ready to start paying bills. It's very expensive. I'm starting to learn every day. It's very difficult to live in this district. I will tell you right now, um, the cost of living in Arlington is very high. For a lot of us, we've got to pay rent. So end of the month is coming. The average rent cost here in Arlington, $1,800. Very difficult for a single family, uh, even for folks who have to work two jobs, it's very difficult. So we have to make sure that our people can actually afford to live here. On top of the rent, we've got to talk about transportation. I take the transportation to Metro every single day. Um, so I have to pay the monthly pass, if you will. It's $150, a lot of money coming out there. And if I need to take Uber, that's additional, um, additional money there. So that's a big issue. I even had to encounter some of the toll roads, which most times I often forget to have the dollars in my pocket, so I end up having to pay the taxes on top of that. Um, so that's a lot of money that comes out for transportation. And I gotta tell you, the bus fares, if you take the bus here in Arlington, the fares went up. The county actually increased the fares for the art system. So what's interesting is, when we've got the numbers, the adult fares went from $1.75 to $2. If you know, that's 25 cent increase. We've also, our students, were impacted, our seniors were impacted, and even the people with disabilities were impacted with the increases there. And I'll tell you right now, it went from 85 cent to a dollar, another 15 cent increase, and that was for folks who had disabilities and our students. So we gotta work on this, and we can't allow these prices and fares to continue going up, and it didn't end there. The star zone fares went up again. Uh, for all three zones, 50 cents, so I'll tell you right now, that's gonna impact a lot of families. So as we start to put our numbers down for the end of the month, we got to start looking at how we're going to be able to live in this district and parking spaces. Some of us live in the actual apartment buildings. It's $110 for unreserved parking, so it's even more for reserved parking. That's a lot of money. So calculate all that. You got additional bills, uh, utilities. Uh, and then we got a big problem with the personal property vehicle tax. Uh, again, each year they are going to tax us more and more. We paid our sales tax. You know, so we've got to be able to make sure we can live in this district because it's not friendly for families and young people. Um, but I'll tell you this, and the reason why I'm running is really to make sure that we can live in this district, we can build a family, we can grow in our own community, and we can work together to make sure that it's affordable and that the cost of living isn't going to drive us out. Teachers, firefighters, law enforcement, I know a lot of people who commute outside of this district because they can't afford it. So I'll just tell you this. I want to represent you in Richmond. I want to bring your voice to the House of Delegates so that we can make sure that our voice is heard because this cost of living cannot continue to go further and increase. So elect me to support you. Elect me to work with you because I'm in your community. We are a community together. I'll be that voice. I'll champion those issues, but I'll make sure that we can be proud and we can afford to live in our district. So again, thank you all for what you do, for the hard work. End of the month is coming. I'm here to support you and advance our particular interests right there in Richmond. God bless all of you. I look forward to seeing you all out there. Thank you very much. God bless Virginia. God bless the United States. And God bless you all. We'll talk to you next week.